So in today's video we're gonna look at the stone circles in Johannesburg. Let's dive in. It's quite a urban area. You can see this is the central part of Johannesburg with all the, the large buildings. Here you can see the, the mining operations, the gold mines. So not too far from the center we have these stone circles again. It amazes me that you can find these basically in any location. Now these circles look a little different. So in the high felt we see more like cloud structures. Big house and roughly the size of one of these circles I would say. So you have some here on the hillside as well. We're here in a mining area again, so obviously this is closed off. This is probably the only reason why they are still visible to us. They are very oddly shaped, very eroded. More over here, they're really just all over the place. Ah, so here we go. Here's a perfect example of what I mean. These seem very different. Do they have a different purpose? They're definitely not what we're used to seeing in the, the northeast part of South Africa. So these are what I call the cloud circles. And please do notice the, the plant life. Again here you can see very big trees here in the middle. Can you see this guys? This is what I'm talking about. This, this is literally terraforming. Why does it always happen that inside these circles it is very lush, you have big trees here and the rest around it, there's nothing here. Right, so very interesting structures again here. You can see this is part of one complex. You see these little pockets everywhere, like this, like this. So what if these, you would call them just rocks lying around here, but what if this is part of a massive structure? You see what I mean? So this whole hillside basically could have been like this. And for some reason this one survived. Again, notice how the trees and the plants are thriving inside this cloud circle. And you find this everywhere. I mean, just look at the landscape here. The only places where you see Mother Earth thriving is where these cloud circles are located. Let's have a look down here. These are more what we are used to seeing, right? This is also interesting, little circles here. This one seems to have withstood the erosion and noticed the big trees again. So we had a look next to the metro area of Johannesburg, over here. Then I showed you some cloud formations here, more to the west, and then we're gonna go over here. This is what we call Sekerbos Rand. So again, many, many circles around here. Okay, and then we're on a little hill here. You can see the road next to it. So you can just quite easily just walk up here, have a look around, and you might find something fantastic. Oh, very nice circle over here. So this is what we're used to normally, right? So about 88 meters, and that's 290 feet, or 96 yards. A lot more circles going on here. Just look at the plant life again. They love uh, being around these circles. And here is the cloud formation. I like this one especially because you can see the half moon shape and there's it's definitely not closed like the other circles. I'm very close to this guy's house so I really wonder if he knows he has some awesome circles on his land. Really special example we have here. You just scroll somewhere by accident and again you see another beautiful circle. Okay, so I'll put a little yellow one here. Very cool circles. Oh yeah, you can see there's a lot here in this area. There's a big one here. Next to a, looks like a chicken farm or something. 
very nice circle here with its uh, core inside. Oh, but there's lots over here, huh? There's just there's just so many guys, and that's why this is important because. Why are there so many circles? And this is not little tiny circles I can make in my backyard. This is massive stuff. We, we just measured one. It's almost 100 meters. And here we have that LiDAR. So this is amazing. I love this. this sh there should be more of this. So they, they document basically this whole area with LiDAR. So let's have a little look. So you can see they have some circles here. They have uh, a little tower there. They are very interesting. We'll talk about that soon. There's that little cloud formations we talked about. Circle here. So much the same as we have been seeing on Google Earth. Just another shot. So we we'll also look at the mainstream perspective on these exact ruins near Sekerbos Rand. This is not the exact article I was looking at before because that one was a bit more comprehensive, but this one will have to do for now. And it says, Quineng, the ancient human settlement outside Katuris. What is really special is they have LiDAR and they have basically scanned this whole area and they produced this little video as well. What they're saying is this is basically a a great city that some articles even call this the capital of the ancient Trana people and okay fine I'm not arguing with that I'm actually be not be surprised if it was but my point is there are millions of these circles and not only here we find them in abundance in other places so how can this be the capital you get what I'm saying? The most important thing is the, the just the large scale and the immense numbers of structures we have. And not small structures, massive, major structures. They say this is a settlement, a capital of 20,000 people. That's a lot for those times. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Of course, there could have been 20,000 people there. But what about the millions of structures? So let's say 10 million people, the population. In the mainstream, we never see those numbers documented in the past. The, the population was very small. And that's why I keep coming back to This is ancient stuff. This is much, much further back. I want to emphasize, they use these structures. We inherit our structures. And you'll be familiar with this if you're into Tartarian architecture and stuff like that. My point is, guys, I would agree, yes, there was a settlement there, but that's not the original creators. Alright, so I think that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. You know what to do if you like the video. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. So I came across this one. So there must be kind of a layering thing going on here because what I know is the blue light would be coming towards you and the red light goes away. So if someone can explain why this looks like this, uh, please comment below. There's quite a, a big complex, quite dense, pack, densely packed over here. Quineng, a newly discovered pre-colonial capital near Johannesburg. That's the title, guys. And here's the problem. You see this? Yeah, if you want to look at their opinion, you have to pay $35, which is ridiculous. I'm saying everything has been hijacked. The whole history. <laughs>